Why inventory valuation? The relevance of inventory valuation. As we discussed in detail, through income, how inventory valuation affects the profits of a particular business. <clears throat> Next, we will also understand how valuation of inventories affects the balance sheet. Inventories are a part of current assets and shown on the asset side of the balance sheet. Higher the value of inventories, more sound, more healthy appears to be the financial position of the business. If, as, if inventories are not valued correctly, the financial position shown as it is shown by the balance sheet would not be correct, would not be true. Therefore, inventory valuation is critical <clears throat> to ascertain the true financial position of the business. Liquidity analysis. As discussed before, liquidity is the ease with which current assets or assets can be converted to cash. Inventories are a part of current assets. And if a higher value is assigned to inventories, the liquidity position would appear to be better than it actually is. Statutory compliance as per the Companies Act. Inventories have to be presented with a suitable breakup, which is normally raw materials, work in progress, finished goods, loose tools, spares, etc. So Companies Act requires this information to be disclosed in addition to the accounting policy followed and the method of valuation that is being used, all of which we will discuss as we proceed further. Thus, Valuation of inventories is critical to ascertain the true profits of a business, the true financial position of the business, to know the liquidity position and it is required statutorily. There is a requirement by law as to the method, policy and presentation of inventory and its valuation.